Hello everyone, welcome back to Rain and Paws. Today is a good day because we have new piggies. I'm so excited to show you these. Um, this may be the best release yet in terms of variety of colours. Um, there are some real corkers in this one. So I'm going to paint a trivet today. This is a tile that I've just taped up the back of. This is a 30 by 30 centimeter tile. I love doing my trivets on these because they're nice and sturdy, they're heavy, and the tile absorbs the heat as well as dispersing it through the resin that goes on top. So I'm gonna start with uh, the colors that I'm gonna be using. I have Holbein Payne's Gray, which is a bluer Payne's Gray. It's more of the deep blue shade. Then I have Matisse Australian Red Violet, which I've mixed up fresh. Um, love this color, and it's a super deep magenta. Then we have, I'm using three of the 11 new piggies in this uh, pour. So first up, I have this little piggy, Aquamarine. This one is a super awesome interference turquoise color. So it's more blue than velvet, it's more green than velvet a little bit. Um, and it's like a light blue interference. So not sure if you can see that there, but hopefully I'll be able to capture that in a close-up um, at the end. Then we have this little piggy, Vinyasa. Super deep blue, way deeper than sapphire. It's almost black. It's very similar in shade to the Holbein Payne's Grey. So the reason that I'm putting these uh, next to each other um, is so that the Payne's Grey will go down first on my background so that my Vinyasa, which I'm going to put down second, isn't going to flocculate, which means that you'll be able to see those uh, individual specks of pigment on the white background. And the last colour I am using is called Vinyasa. Uh, sorry, that was Vinyasa. This is Zimzelen. So Zimzelen is, I believe, Slovenian for periwinkle, the flower, and it is such a beautiful purple with a blue interference shift. Uh, and when I mixed this up, I actually said WTF that many times because I did not expect the dry powder to mix up with that interference color. So um, this one is super, super special. It's like Constellation, uh, but Constellation is a fair bit darker and way more purple. So you can see the difference there. It almost looks like white's been added to this uh, to Constellation, but indeed it has not. This is a fantastic little pigment. So I'm going to use these in my bloom. I'm going to go for a negative space bloom. I'm not very good at them, but we're gonna try. So I'm gonna pour my pillow paint down, which is um, British Paints Low Sheen Interior in the white. Now, in terms of release date for these pigments, um, as of yet, we don't have a release date. They are still in production. Shelly is doing, uh, has done a reveal, so you can check that out on the This Little Piggy Fluid Art page on Facebook. And when they are available for purchase, you should be able to get those at fluid-art.co. And I can't wait. So like I said, there are 11 pigments in this release. And this will be the final release for this little piggy as the pigment range is now rounded out. And we've got 112 different colors to choose from, which is awesome. So I've got my pillow paint down. And if you want to learn how to do the bloom technique like I'm doing today, you can do that at shellyart.com.au. Do her course and join the members group. Um, you'll get exclusive access to all things blooms. So like I said, I want negative space for this one. Oh, I need a cell activator too. Um, why didn't I think this through? <laughs> okay, uh, where did I put it? I do have some mixed up under there. I think I'm going to use a white cell activator for this one. I got so caught up in things I forgot. Crucial component. I haven't painted for a long while, so it's good to be able to play with some new piggies and get back into the studio. Uh, so I've got my white mixed up. Okay, now we're going for the Holbein Payne's Grey as my first layer. And because we want negative space, we want a tiny, tiny amount of paint. Then the Vinyasa. And I'm going to try and keep it all central. Then I want... Oh, I actually want the Interference Blue to go over that because that's going to look fantastic the interference turquoise I should say, then uh, which is aquamarine, then I'm going to put Australian red violet, finish up with 
Zim Zelen on top. And maybe a tiny drop of the Payne's Grey under the cell activator to soak up some colour. So, put the cell activator on and again, small amount of cell activator. And let's blow it out. Sorry, you may see my head. Okay, I'm not going to touch it. This looks fantastic. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to leave this as is, and we're just going to spin this out. I like the petal shape, and we're just going to see how this blows out, or how this spins, I should say. Maybe I will blow in the middle a little bit, just to expand these bits. Okay, let's see how this goes. Now when you want negative space, one of the tricks is to not put down as much pillow paint as you normally would. Oh my god, the middle is killer! Oh, okay. <laughs> Sorry, I need to contain my excitement here. So I do have one petal that's going rogue, but that's perfectly fine. We'll try and work with it. There's always one. Just give that a really good spin. And then I want it to shift this way a little bit, so I'm going to move it towards the direction that I want it to go. And I'm just spinning very slowly. Now I need it to go back. Yes, I do need it to come this way a little bit more and that way. Okay. Fortunately, I need it to go towards that petal, but let's see if that shifts everything a little bit better. So at this point, I'm not spinning off any paint, I'm just moving it the direction I want it to go, so I want it to come down to this corner a little bit more. And I actually think that's pretty fantastic. Oh, the aquamarine. Mm. Okay, so uh, let me grab my phone. I'm going to film a close-up of this because you really, really have to see a close-up of that beautiful aquamarine in the middle. and. I actually think this is the perfect colour combination, so I'm going to do uh, maybe a set of coasters to match with this, and uh, we'll see how they pair together. So let me see if I can show you. I've got the silicon mat stuck to the bottom. Oh, okay, here we go. I'm just trying to peel off the mat from underneath. Okay. Oh, look at those colours. So you can see that aquamarine throwing off that interference blue. Oh, that is so gorgeous. The shimmer, so it does look like it has broken up over the edges, but look at that purple when you tilt it. So up high, when you look at it from the top down, it looks a little bit gray, but on an angle, it just goes beautiful purple. Stunning. Oh, I'm so happy with that. Okay, let me take you down for a close-up and uh, when I, then I might make a set of coasters.
and screw the coasters. <laughs> so we're going for a negative space bloom and I will show you what the colours are once I've got my pillow paint down. So this is British Paint's Low Sheen Interior House Paint in white. Okay, and I just put that down spinning my pillow out a little bit so that I still get a nice central design. Now I'm thinking do I want to make a triple bloom on this one? And I don't think I do because I'm scared, um, but I will do a beautiful big negative space bloom. Okay, so plenty of Holbein Payne's Grey. This colour is Vinyasa, super super deep blue. It is almost the same tone as the Payne's Grey. And that's going to go on there. Next, I want the Aquamarine. This is Interference Turquoise, brand new pigment because those three colors layered together are, oh my God, <laughs> so, so good. Then I'm going to do Matisse Australian Red Violet. Followed by Zim Zelen, another brand new pigment. This is a beautiful pale purple or periwinkle with a, an interference blue shift. And then I'm going to finish with a little bit of the Holbein Payne's Grey underneath the cell activator. Okay. Now, very little paint on here because we want that negative space. So. Get that cell activator and I'm going to give this a blowout. Please excuse my head. Perfect. Okay, we're going to spin this straight out. Let's get that design expanded. Now, I do have to just monitor the bottom of my Lazy Susan here because I have a rounded edge. So I just want to make sure that's all covered with paint. Oh, this is perfect. Okay, good spin. Let's get all that paint off. And we're definitely going to keep negative space on this one. But there is a fair bit of paint still on here, so I'm just giving this a really good spin. The bloom is nice and central. Now, one thing that I have forgotten is I just sanded these back to raw wood and I've just put paint straight on them. So there is a risk that this is going to warp. And I'm gonna kick myself if it does, because this bloom is perfect. So I'm hoping and praying that we don't get any warping as this dries. Just blowing out the middle to see if I can get some cells to pop up. Let me grab my scroller. Just going to give this another big spin just to make sure I get all of that paint off so it doesn't crack. Okay, I'm going to set up a place for this to dry because I didn't think this through <laughs> while that's spinning out. 
Okay. Sometimes my brain works, sometimes it does not. Today is one of the occasions where it does not. What do you think? It looks fantastic. Okay, we still have a little bit of paint left in the middle. So can this go towards any particular direction? I don't think so. Uh, let me see if I can move it off this way just a little. I just want the center to shift so it doesn't melt and ruin those middle cells. But I think we're fine. Okay, here is a gorgeous Lazy Susan with three brand new piggy pigments. We have Zimzelan, Vinyasa, and Aquamarine. And boy, are they stunners. All right, I'm going to set this off to dry. Thank you for joining me. If you like what I'm doing, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.